So before we can actually draw the snake, we need to place the coordinates of the snake into our snake xy array. And that's what we're going to do now. So we are going to move each of the body parts on the position of the previous one. So move snake field on the position of previous one. And that's a simple for loop. But remember, we only want the body, we don't want the head. And we want to start from the end of the body as well. So a for loop will go from integer i that equals the actual length of the snake. So snake length. And it goes until the first index. The zeroth index is the head, so we'll stop on the first index. So until i is greater or equal to 1. And we are moving from bottom up, so i minus minus. And here we have our snake xy array, which is the array of structures. So it has the structure of x and y coordinates. And that's what we are going to change here. So our current snake xy with the i index, and we'll do the x first, so the x coordinates will have the one before that. So it's going to be snake xy with the index of i minus 1. And that's again is for the x coordinates. So we are assigning the x coordinates a value that is the x coordinates from the previous position. And we'll do the same for y coordinates. So our snake xy with the index of i, but for y coordinates, will equal the snake xy, and again it's i minus 1, but this time for y coordinate. So this moves the body parts to the previous positions, and we, again we stop on index 1, because the head itself has to be drawn depending on what directions we are going. So after I have the body coordinates, I can now draw the body part where the head used to be, because the head will be obviously one field ahead of it. So we can do a g dot draw image, and we are drawing from the image list, so img list dot images property, and the body part is index 4 of our images, and the head is index 5. So we want the body, so index 4, and we want to place it where the head used to be, and that's our index 0. So in our snake xy, with the index of 0 for the x coordinates, so dot x, and we have to multiply it by 35 to compensate for the size of the pixels. And of course, the y coordinates will be the snake of the 0 index, so snake xy with the index of 0, and this is going to be for the y coordinates multiplied by 35. So if I do the refresh, so picture game board dot refresh, we should get only the snake body where the head used to be. So let's run it. And you can see that it indeed removes the head. And you could see that it actually removed the body because there was another tick that moved once again ahead and we draw the white background on top of the last piece. So, so far it seems to be working correctly. So next we can determine what direction we're gonna go. 